After leaving Meroe, Herodotus soon finds the land of the deserters, who are called the Asmak, soldiers on the right hand of the king. These deserters are elite Egyptians of the warrior caste, who in the number of 240,000 rebelled and went over to the Ethiopians, or Nubians under the reign of Pharaoh Samtik II. The Nubian king at this time was Tantamani, who would later become ruler of both Nubia and Egypt in 664 BC. The reason for their desertion is that they were left, a garrison of elite soldiers, for three years without relief. The warriors, frustrated with the pharaoh's neglect, deserted the king after he made pursuit of them. So they take up arms and march up south straightway towards Ethiopia. Upon reaching the Nubian king Tantamani, they are welcomed as royal guard. They are given a gift of a tract of land, bidding they expel the inhabitants who were living there. What became of these deserters? Some researchers believe the East African Maasai Mara warriors, who are today in East Africa, are these same warriors. But wait, there are others too, like the Kikuyu, Samburu, and Hammer, just to name a few. What do you think? There are many indigenous warrior tribes still there today. Do they have any resemblance to ancient Nile Valley cultures? Let's look at the facts, family. Like and subscribe for more Nubio.